Hi everyone. So in our last video, we looked at how to get from zero to free gold um, before you got to level 10. Um, the, that was through, if you didn't catch that one, that was through using tailoring um, and mainly just making bags as well as some skinning and vendoring your skins. Um, so this week then the idea was going to be to get to uh, 10 gold and that was going to be by level 20. Um, we actually had a little bit of a, a change of plan this time though, in that I found a vendor shuffle which is working amazingly. And so rather than being um, getting to 10 gold by level 20, it's actually how I got to 30 gold by level 15, um, with, to be honest, no time taken at all. Uh, the thing with vendor shuffles, as you're probably aware, the more people who know about them and the more people who do them, the less good they are. Um, so the good news for you is that not many people seem to be doing this one. It's working really, really well for me and not many people watch my videos. So I think you'll be, if you pick this one up now, you should be safe. Um, I've not read about it anywhere, anywhere else and I've not um, seen any other videos on it. So I think, yeah, if you pick this up now, you should be, you should be good. Um, so the hustle itself is actually a level working one and it is Hillman's shoulders. Now the Hillman's shoulders are brilliant. They only use um, four pieces of medium leather and they use, let me just bring that back up, four pieces of medium leather, one piece of cured medium hide and one fine thread. So in order to make these, first of all, you need to get to 130 level working. Um, it's not too, it's not too bad to get there. Um, put in the description a couple of recipes that I used to level um, that you were able to vendor what you got really, really easily, and it wasn't really costing very much. Overall, I think I spent about 50 silver of the free gold that I had on leveling my level work into 130. Right then, so for looking at the Hillman's shoulders themselves, the first thing you need to be aware of is once you get to 130 level working, you can train that at the trainer and they're going to vendor for 11 silver and 99 copper, which is fantastic. Um, the really good thing about these sort of vendor shuffles is that um, you, you really don't have to do anything. You just start, you just set it onto craft and then you go off, make yourself a cup of tea and you come back vendor it all and there's literally zero risk you can even buy your materials and not even bother to do anything with them that day just buy the materials hold them for a week and then oh yeah yeah, i should go and vendor my stuff because i need some gold so the price point that you should be looking at then the fine thread that is always going to be one silver so you buy that from the vendor next then is the medium lever um if you can get that for around 80 silver sorry, not 80 silver, 80 copper or less. That is the perfect price. Um, now you'll see on your auction house, it's going to go up and down all day. So just keep an eye on it. Like if you can log in first thing in the morning and check, that's often the best time to buy stuff in real bulk. But um, yeah, if you can get it for under 80 copper, that's fantastic. The thing that costs a little bit more is going to be your cure of medium height. Now, if you can get your medium height for... Um, five silver or less and then you can cure it yourself using um, a salt which costs 50 copper from the vendor now there's a vendor just right by the auction house um, at the beginning I was actually running all the way back to the trainer over and over again but there's actually no need to do that don't worry there's a there's a vendor that sells your fine thread and your and your salt in the same place so they're all you need you should be making um, anything between two and three silver profit per one Again, this isn't this isn't another one. None of my videos are gonna be I did this and I got to a million gold in three weeks or whatever other people seem to say. Um, that's generally not how you how you make gold. But once you've got your once you've got your basic now, so you've got your 30 gold from doing this vendor shuffle, then you can start looking over to the next thing and start going more and more and more. So I hope. I hope that this is going to be useful for you. Um, let me know in the comments if you do try it and, and if it works. Um, as I said, I've been checking it regularly all week and it's it's working for me still. Um, and there's plenty of volume. This is on Stitches EU, but um, generally all server economies are the same. I've not seen anyone talking about this anywhere else. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully there's not that many people who do watch my videos. So I think you'll, you should be good to go. 
so yeah let me know if you try it and the next video will be probably in another week and that one's going to be focusing on some investments that i'm going to be planning on making so i'll be um making some making some investments um just a couple of items which i think are probably going to go right up in price over the next like three to six months and um so looking at buying them now and stocking up and then making a making a big sale and some big goals in, in a little while. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please do like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.